at uh, world best time set by America in the Olympics in Athens. And the men's rowing eight. Just a little shy of 20 meters long. Just under 100 kilos and supporting the best part of 770 kilos or thereabouts. Yeah, some crews are an average of 100 kilos these days, which would make it over 800, but 770 would be a decent number. Ah, Belarus ah. sacking themselves up. Normally you get the cheers at the end of the race, not at the beginning. It's the Belarus version of the uh, New Zealand Harker. Yeah. <laughs> Well, let's see whether they can uh, do that. Far side, Great Britain, then Belarus, Canada, Russia, China, and Holland closest to you. Away we go, and a regatta day of finals without any problems at the start whatsoever. But who is going to be the quickest down this 2,000 meter course in the last final of the day? China there, straight into uh, their rhythm. Very nicely together. Slightly different arcs, actually. Not, not so nicely together when you look at the stroke side. And an early lead, if it could be called that, between lanes one and three. Great Britain showing well and Canada showing well. Those two crews. Now, this is very interesting because Great Britain is not expected to win this race. But, as I keep saying, early leads in eights are hard to whittle down and they've gone out to a few feet over the field and a few inches over Canada. But how keen is Mr. Spracklin to regain supremacy for uh, Canada? Very keen, keen enough to have changed the style. Instead of the very marked layback that we saw in the last Olympiad through to 2004 in Canada, they are rowing almost a normal length. To reflect on that, wasn't that really a case of the existing style when you arrived? No, but it was he chose from among the squad who all wrote differently a particular style and then decided to make it the mark. But uh, there are fewer and fewer of them right now. Whatever I said about Great Britain earlier has evaporated, and it's Russia and Belarus taking the two leading places here, and uh, Russia indeed in the first place, although this is China who are coming into here. No, I beg your pardon, that's Holland coming into here. Holland they had a Chinese the... symbol on their stern, but in fact it was Holland. Yeah, Holland in uh, lane six. Lane five, two from the bottom of your picture now are uh, China, but now here are the uh, Russians and uh, Russia. Just uh, Canada next to them. You can see Canada coming through. Belarus in the green and red on the far side. Great Britain in that dark strip with a white stripe down the sides there. And it is all pretty close now. The Chinese uh, looking somewhat concerned at the moment. And it's China and also the Netherlands on the near side who are lagging and are in trouble because the pace is in the centre of the echelon there and it's uh, not easy once you lose contact as these two crews are on the near side to get yourself back into this. It certainly isn't, uh, particularly if you're on the edge and both Great Britain and Netherlands are now relatively slipping against the middle of the pack, middle of the field. Russia who are three from the bottom of your picture in lane four. They're just about with the edge now, going with uh, Canada and Belarus. Those are the three leading nations through the 1,000 metre mark. And it is, in fact, Russia who are ahead of Canada and Belarus. And then uh, China, Great Britain and the Netherlands. And Great Britain, if they want to uh, move up, they need to make a move, a very serious move in this third quarter. They certainly do. And uh, it takes a transforming call. The, the Cox has got to say up four or something really remarkable to get the kind of change of pace that's going to be necessary to hold on to this crew and the Russians looking very comfortable but I would say that um, next to them Canada is it, or is it the white boat the white boat of can't, can't my way across it is Canada it is Canada, it is Canada coming out into the lead so 
What were you saying about Spratkin wanting to win? Well, I picked out I, I picked out Russia and I picked out Canada. You know, the, the, the fact is that you know the word is that you know this is this is a, a real serious attempt. And look at the way that they're moving. Look at the way they're moving, and look at the way that they are moving like other horsemen do these days. There's no exaggeration. Layback. There's a little bit of a exaggeration layback from Peter Dembicki in the sixth seat. Still got some remnants of that old style, but the rest of them are aligned with all the other athletes in all the other boats in the way that they draw the, cut, the finish of the stroke. Big move there by Stephen Schenk, the uh, Canadian coxswain there, to really try and take this race by the scruff of its neck as we come through 1,500 metres. And look at that. They've opened up. They were in amongst them. And now they've got the best part of half a length, edging towards three quarters of a length, and uh, looking as if they want to leave the rest to fight out for second and third. And it is Canada. Stephen Schenk, Carl Hamilton in the stroke seat, James Byrne, Peter Dambicki, Malcolm Howard, and Dominic Seitele in the engine room and then Adam Creek, Kevin Light and Rob Weitemar in the bow and they are pulling further ahead. They certainly are and Belarus hanging on in there for probably the bronze medal at the moment. With Russia but Great Britain. No, I think they may be passing Russia actually. Great Britain in, on the premises as you put it but uh, gosh it's difficult to tell with this kind of uh, close-up camera. It is. You need a little bit more from Great Britain if they want to take a part in this. And, of course, the fight that's going on now is beginning to draw them back onto uh, Canada now. But Canada with uh, three-quarters of a length as they come past the boat enclosures now in this final of the last race of this Ossetsheim Visa World Cup regatta with uh, Visa's new sponsor, Will B Win Bill Dan on what has been a terrific opening weekend and it is Canada who are holding them off at the moment Belarus fighting for second place Great Britain looking for third place if they can possibly get it coming in front of the stands now and look at the spectators and the crews everybody's on their feet now for the final of the men's eights and it's going to be Canada who take the victory from whoa Belarus and China. China I think it was China in bronze medal Belarus in second and the Russians early leaders back in fourth uh, Holland and Great Britain in fifth and sixth, but uh, outstanding from Canada because they got to halfway in some sort of reasonable shape and then really let rip in that third 500 and uh, kept going in the fourth 500. We don't yet have the margins. Yes, we do. They were 0.233 ahead of Belarus at 1500 and 0.202, so they did get clawed back a little bit by Belarus, but an outstanding performance that for men's eights. As the finale of this regatta, it...